Microsoft has just pulled off something so wild it's already making waves in the AI world. Forget about heavy servers, GPUs, or insane energy bills. This new AI model is lighter than air, faster than expected, and just might be the most efficient one we've ever seen. And here's the kicker. This wasn't even the goal. It happened by accident. So, how did they create an AI that's smashing efficiency records? You won't believe the breakthrough they stumbled upon. Stay tuned because this one's a game changer. The unexpected discovery. Microsoft's general AI team wasn't trying to create a new revolution in artificial intelligence. In fact, they weren't even thinking about setting new records for efficiency or energy consumption. They were simply trying to improve the way AI models were designed keeping energy usage and computational requirements in mind. This led them to develop a model named BitNet B1.58, a deceptively simple sounding name that belies the true brilliance of the technology. If you're thinking it's just another typical AI model with flashy specs and long strings of numbers, think again. BitNet was built with an unexpected twist. While most AI models use precision weights like 32-bit or 16-bit values, Microsoft decided to go in a completely different direction. Instead of using complex numbers for weights, they opted for just three values, negative one, zero, and one. Yes, that's right, three values, each representing a discrete piece of information. These are known as ternary values. Why does this matter? Well, the traditional weights in AI networks are designed with high precision, using lots of memory to store values, and that's a huge drain on resources. Microsoft's idea was to make the weights super lightweight. What they didn't expect was that this design would lead them to create an AI model that was not just efficient, but incredibly powerful too. BitNet was trained on 4 trillion tokens and 2 billion parameters, and the results were nothing short of astonishing. This AI model was able to perform at par with the best models in the industry, but required a fraction of the resources to do so. The magic behind the efficiency. Let's break down why BitNet's efficiency is so revolutionary. Traditionally, AI models, particularly large ones, require huge amounts of memory. The common approach involves using 32-bit or 16-bit floating point weights. For a 2 billion parameter model, this might require anywhere between 2 to 5 gigabytes of VRAM, and when you start stacking layers of complex calculations, you run into memory bottlenecks and high energy consumption. But BitNet takes a radically different approach. Instead of relying on massive memory hogging weights, the model uses just 1.58 bits of information per weight, represented by the ternary values of negative 1, 0, and positive 1. This reduces the model's size dramatically, so much so that BitNet can comfortably fit in just 0.4 gigabytes of memory. What's the result? Speed and efficiency that outperforms its competitors. A typical model would require specialized hardware, massive servers, high-end GPUs, and expensive infrastructure. BitNet? It runs on basic CPUs, including everyday chips like the Apple M2. And despite its lightweight design, it manages to output five to seven tokens per second. That's about the speed at which you can read a line from a book. Now let's talk about energy. We all know that running large models often means running up a hefty power bill. BitNet completely flips that on its head. While traditional models suck up power like a hungry vacuum, BitNet only uses 5 to 10% of the energy compared to similar models. That's like comparing the idle power usage of a Prius versus the muscle of a gas-guzzling sports car. This efficiency has huge implications. If AI models can run on simpler hardware and use minimal energy, we could see AI tools deployed widely on consumer devices, from laptops to smartphones. AI would no longer be limited to expensive data centers or specialized machines. You could run complex models on your everyday hardware without worrying about performance or energy consumption, breaking down the training process. So how exactly did Microsoft manage to achieve this level of performance? It all comes down to how BitNet was trained. Most AI models are trained using high-precision weights, 32 or 16-bit values. After the model is trained, it's then compressed or quantized into lower precision values like 8-bit or 4-bit weights to save memory. But there's a problem with this approach. When you compress a fully precise model, you lose accuracy. It's like trying to squeeze a huge suitcase into a tiny bag. 
Some things get lost along the way. Microsoft flipped the script. Instead of starting with a high-precision model and trying to shrink it down, they built BitNet from scratch using ternary weights. This allowed the model to learn in a way that naturally preserved its efficiency. Since the model was born in ternary with weights of negative 1, 0, and 1, it never had to worry about losing accuracy during compression. Essentially, Microsoft's approach kept the precision intact throughout the entire training process. This is where things get really interesting. To make it work, Microsoft borrowed some clever tricks from a Llama 3's tokenizer, a tool used for processing text into understandable pieces. By leveraging this tool, BitNet didn't need to waste time learning a new vocabulary or alphabet from scratch, which helped keep training time down and boosted overall efficiency. Additionally, Microsoft made use of sublayer normalization and a simpler activation function, squared ReLU, instead of more complex ones that could slow down the system. By simplifying the model and allowing it to focus on learning, BitNet was able to perform better and more efficiently than the more traditional bulky models. Real-world impact and performance. So, what does this mean for the world of AI? Let's take a look at the real-world impact of BitNet's breakthrough. For one, it completely changes the hardware game. Traditional AI models are usually designed to run on high-end GPUs, massive pieces of hardware that cost thousands of dollars and consume a lot of power. BitNet, on the other hand, can run on regular CPUs, which are much more accessible and energy efficient. Imagine using your laptop or desktop to run an AI model with the same power as the most advanced systems out there, without needing a data center to support it. But let's dive deeper into the performance numbers. When Microsoft tested BitNet, they ran it through a battery of industry standard benchmarks, including MMLU, GSM, 8K, Arc Challenge, and others. The result? BitNet achieved a macro score of 54.19%, which is just a hair below the best float-based models in the industry, like Llama QN 2.5 at 55.23%. That's impressive considering that BitNet is running on one-fifth of the resources compared to these models. Where BitNet really excels is in its logical reasoning. In Arc Challenge, BitNet topped the charts with 49.91%, and in Winno Grande, it achieved 71.9%, outperforming its competitors. And when it came to math, BitNet achieved a 58.38% exact match on the GSM 8K benchmark, beating out all the other 2 billion parameter models. These are not just numbers. They represent real-world AI performance that could be used for everything from natural language processing to complex problem solving. But the biggest win for BitNet? Energy efficiency. While other models drain power like there's no tomorrow, BitNet delivers top-tier performance using up to 96% less energy, meaning it's not just faster, it's greener too. What's next for BitNet? So, what's next for BitNet B1.58? The team at Microsoft is far from done. As incredible as this model is, they're already working on scaling it up to handle more parameters, up to 7 billion, 13 billion, and beyond. Right now, BitNet runs on CPUs, but the team is calling on hardware designers to create specialized chips that can make low-bit AI even more efficient. Imagine what could happen when BitNet runs on a custom-designed chip, optimized specifically for ternary values. The future is bright. Microsoft plans to test how native 1-bit scaling holds up at larger sizes, and they're even looking into multilingual support and multimodal AI. AI that can process text and images together. The possibilities are endless. Microsoft's unexpected AI breakthrough has shown us that efficiency doesn't have to come at the expense of power. BitNet's incredible speed, low energy consumption, and high accuracy prove that the future of AI can be lighter, greener, and more accessible. Keep an eye on this space because the AI revolution just took a giant leap forward. If this AI breakthrough blew your mind, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more jaw-dropping tech revelations. Don't miss out on the future of AI. Stay tuned and be part of the revolution.